What's up guys? Now it's December 30th, uh, 7 p.m. So a few hours to be the last day of the year of 2021. Uh, I'm gonna make this uh, retrospective of 2021. There was a bunch of cool stuff, some not so cool. Anything between noise in the engine, buying a new car, fire on the drift car. So in the, anyways, you just gotta stick around. I'm here downstairs, I don't know if you ever, if you guys ever saw this setup, but I have all my computers. Yeah, my, my punch bag right there, Bob. And my TV there with an Xbox One, which is actually my son's. I usually don't have time to play. I might start playing and create a Twitch account. What do you guys think? But anyways, first thing that happened to me in 2021 was something that I was not expecting on the first day of the year. Uh, it was a noise in the eclipse and it sounded like a rod knock. So listen to this. First thing I did after hearing the noise was to remove the oil pan, remove the bearings and they look pretty good so I found the culprit and that was the problem it was a tensioner so I removed that one and installed a mechanical tensioner but not everything was painful I was having a problem with my Dodge Ram for two years at least and this was the problem right there one of those contacts got corroded and was causing the issue to be intermittent eventually it broke off and the car wouldn't start anymore then I bought my dream car I got a Toyota Supra from Australia. This is it. We're going to get more detail when we get home, but... Whoa. Look at that. Look at that butt. All right, let's get out of here before they take us to J or something. I don't know. It's customs, right? Then I did something very interesting. I started making seasons and seasons and episodes episode one two three four i think i did nine or eight or nine but i wasn't getting as many views as i would like to and for the effort i was having to make those so yeah this is one of the um interests of one of the episodes i made let me know what do you think today things are gonna get very hot with a new heater core installed on the old heater core I'm going to show you the schematics of wiring a relay on the heater core, a switch and one fuse. Finally, we're going to drop the Magic EV heater core into the car. I'm doing my best not to, but I'm going to break some stuff. We're going to get a Farnell harness for our EV heater. And we're going to put it all together, preparing for the interior makeover that we're going to do in the next episodes. Then I bought a TIG welder from Eastwood and I started adventuring to make my exhaust. So I ended up making two exhausts, one for the BMW drift car and another one for the Eclipse. Not bad for the first time welding. Then a buddy of mine uh, invited me to go drifting with him on his grandpa's property and it was an amazing day. He has his Z36 and with a Chevy engine in there that was a beast and that was the first time i used the uh i actually drifted it to jay-z on the bmw then i went to the villains and drifting it was a drifting event and i ended up uh crashing the back of the bmw but i had a blast until that happened the crash that suck but you know I had such a blast that I didn't care very much and then first problem with the Supra I was there minding my own business driving having fun with the Supra and taking it to the car wash and um, smoke on the back and what happened the freeze plug popped out and all the coolant fell out of the engine. And then the coolest thing ever, I love learning and a friend from Florida, his name is Nick. He has a bunch of cars, he tuned a bunch of cars, he doesn't build a lot of engines, but he was able over the phone and grabbing my logs 
from the BMW first um, <clears throat> to help me tune the BMW. So that way I would understand how it works and I was able to uh, basically by myself tune the Eclipse. Both cars run, both cars work and I mean I'm pretty proud and uh, as you see here I have tables you know and, and you see how much fuel, how much timing you put on all those engines and you know, RPMs and all that stuff, I love all of that. And then the wrapping adventures, I wish I could could wrap the whole car but I didn't have time because the car kept like building the engine and you know crashing and all that stuff so I waited and that was a good thing because now I have another shell for that engine which that's the one I'm gonna wrap. And there was a lot of hammering and cutting and getting the over fenders made of fiberglass. Uh, got the BMW fixed. And then I was drifting in Montana, the unexpected happened. I fried the ECU. Not this kind of frying, but um, the alternator was putting 18 volts, if I remember correctly, and that was, that was enough. The ECU was actually holding very well, was just jumping and dying here and there and I didn't realize that something was wrong until the ECU gave out and pff, everything died. Luckily the guys from the Speedy EFI were super awesome. He took my ECU, he fixed it quickly and then brought over and we he actually gave me the, the lead to say hey uh, check out your alternator and yeah I lost my ECU, my coils and that was pretty much it. Alright for this one your discretion is advised. I'm just kidding. But the BMW caught on fire. I was drifting with my buddy, and my buddy turned around and said, Bro, your car is on fire. And yeah, so and the problem was I broke something on the back of the car. It was a spilling gas inside the trunk. And I got a battery holder, brand new, installed perfectly. Somehow, those butterfly nuts, you know, that you tie with your hands those things got loose while I was drifting and then the metal moved and then touch the positive spark gas fire you are alive <laughs> oh did you yeah oh you're on fire bro huh Get on the video, get on the video. I got it. Yeah. <laughs> right there, bro, bro, bro. Got it, got it. Yeah, shoot underneath. Hey, shoot underneath. Yeah, that was definitely one of the good highlights of 2021. Uh, two good people, Bodhi, which is the last one saying to shoot the thing underneath, and Chucky, the one that was inside the car. And uh, we responded pretty quickly that everything was pretty safe, that was pretty cool and exciting. I mean, car caught on fire, but it was exciting. Ready? Counting. Yeah, and some good stuff for. Uh, to help me load and unload the car, um, hook up the trailer, so I got the electronic uh, trailer jack. That was a good addition to the uh, car mods family. Took the Eclipse to a car meet. It was scared that the car was going to die at the light or you know have some problems. But no, that was super cool. Had a blast. This is something to review. I mean, I just got like uh, brown racing seats for the Toyota Supra. I love them and it was sitting in my garage for a long time before it got to me it took four months and it was because of COVID and shipping and all that stuff that was like painful but when I got there I had other priorities so I the seat was staying there forever so I ended up doing that mostly at the third quarter uh, of 2021. Alright guys, um, so this is how it looks like now. I have my gym stuff in there and look, it looks sick. And finally, to complete the year, I moved to a new house, 
Uh, it's a big land. I'm going to build a shop, but I don't have a shop yet. So, so far I have a small garage and to work in this garage and lift a car on the four corners was very hard. So, I was fortunate enough I could buy a quick jack and it was a used one. Guy was super cool, met me like halfway from Missoula, Missoula, Montana and you know, got into traffic, long story, but anyway, got in my garage and the thing works like charm, I love it. <gasps> Dude. And that's it guys, that was a uh, pretty exciting 2021, I I was working less than normal uh, on, on YouTube for, for various reasons, but you know, um, I guess with this winter over, um, I plan to do more stuff, especially now in 2022, um, the important thing for us is to put goals in our lives, not necessarily at the end of the year so I'm not waiting for a day after tomorrow to have my goals I have my goals every day and you know they change according to the situation that it happens but you know it's up to you to set your goals it's up to you to um, go after them so I go after mine this is what I do um, you know I, I'm not a mechanic and I was able to build two cars so far and I'm about to build the third one is the Supra and you know if um, I'm gonna say God helps me but you know it, it doesn't stop there I need to work for that to happen um, I want to build Lamborghinis and and you know uh, I'm not sure about Ferraris but it, I, I want to build some supercars and I want to have cool cars and um, building them I, I don't like buying stuff like I don't I don't like going to the mechanic and doing something I like doing it even though I break three times and get it right uh, the fourth time, I that has more value to me as a person than take to a mechanic uh, or building things. As you see here, my basement, right? Look at that. Look at the wall, right? And look at what I'm doing. So uh, look at the top, how it was there. And look at the top, how it is here. So. But this thing is here has more value because it is in my heart. I like it. I like it. I have, um, I get completed when I do those things. So I hope you find what completes you in 2022. And thank you a lot for everyone for the support. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. Probably you're already gone at this point because I keep talking. But hope you enjoyed this video. And know you guys, I love you and happy 2022.